안녕하십니까? Nicolas and in this video I would like to show you a super useful new language that anyone can learn and start to use in 10 minutes or less. The name of the language is D2 and it's a language we can use to generate cool looking diagrams in no time. Whether you are a developer, product manager, marketer, office worker or student, I am sure that in your career you have needed to make a diagram. A diagram to explain a server architecture, a user flow, a customer acquisition funnel, hiring process, whatever. We can use a visual builder for this when we drag and drop some boxes and connect them with arrows and all that, which I find very time consuming. Or we can use D2 to just describe what we want and get an image out of it. So let's see how the language looks and what kind of diagrams we can make. We will start by defining the actors in our diagram. Just by doing this, D2 will generate an image with each actor inside of a square. Now we can create the connections between our actors. We can say that Steve Jobs is connected to Apple as a founder. Tim Cook is also connected to Apple as a CEO. Apple is connected to the App Store as their monopoly. Elon Musk is the owner of Twitter, which is distributed by the App Store. And finally, we can say that both Elon Musk and Tim Cook are friends. That code will generate an image like this. Isn't that cool? We are just writing down names, connections, and labels. And we are getting a cool looking diagram with well positioned arrows and boxes. To connect actors, we have four options. We can make an arrow from A to B, or no arrow, just a connection between A and B, an arrow from B to A, or a bi directional arrow between A and B. To make our life easier and clean up our code, we can add nicknames to our actors. We can also change the shapes of our actors if we want to by doing nickname that shape. Here's a list of all the icons you can use. But if you don't like any of them, you can use your own images as well. We can also have containers, which is a shape inside of another shape. Like in this example, where we are grouping compiled and interpreted programming languages. Using container.child, like for example, compiled.rust or interpreted.javascript, we can connect items that are in separate containers, getting some cool looking diagrams. If we want to, we can also customize the style of our objects, the boxes, as well as the style of the connections, the arrows. We can make the rust box be orange, white text, and 3D, and the connections to JavaScript to be golden yellow and dashed. If we want to, we can also add extra text to our diagram. We can use markdown and we can even specify where we would like to put it. D2 is also super useful if you want to make entity relationship diagrams for SQL databases. Using the SQL table, shape, we can diagram, for example, a simple SQL database with users and their tweets. We can specify the name of the columns, their type, and we can also specify constraints like primary key, unique, and foreign key. And we will get a professional looking output like this. Likewise, if you are working with classes and you need to create UML diagrams for them, you can use the class shape. D2 will automatically detect what is a property and what is a method. It will also render void on methods with no return value. Another kind of diagram that is a pain to create manually is a sequence diagram, which thankfully is really easy to make using D2. First, we have to use the shape sequence diagram and then we can just write down connections and their labels. And after that, all the connections between objects and their labels will be displayed in a sequence. D2 is very common customizable. You can customize the direction of your diagram and choose between up, down, left, and right. You can also choose between different color themes. And my favorite thing of all, you can also give your diagrams the sketch style, which makes it look like it has been hand drawn. D2 supports all the layout engines as well. The default one is called Dagger. They also have Elk and they have Tala, which is paid, but it makes the diagrams look very, very good. To get started with D2, you can download it to your machine using the terminal. Or you can go to play.d2lang.com, where you can write the code on the browser and export images without having to download anything. Thank you for watching this video. 
I hope you found it useful. I was so happy to discover D2 and I'm sure I will be using it when explaining things on videos for the channel. Let me know in the comments what do you think about D2 and if you see yourself using it anytime soon. And please don't forget that if you want to learn things like JavaScript, Python, React, React Native, Go, Dart, Flutter, among many others for absolutely free, all you have to do is click the link below to join any of our many free courses that you can take right now for free with me. Click the link below and I will see you there. Onudo, kamsa hago, taran hago, daume wayo. See you on the next one. Bye bye.